Hey guys. So I want to talk to you guys about something that has really disturbed my spirit. Um, you know, when we take this journey and decide to walk with God, um, things just start to happen that <laughs> a lot of times we don't understand. Uh, many of God's prophetic people are being attacked left and right. And sometimes it can be a lot. So recently, um, I woke up early, um, one morning because I get up early in the morning, about five o'clock in the morning. And I was feeling a feeling like I've never felt before. Um, and that feeling was like someone had intercourse with me, like somebody had raped me. Um, every woman knows you know, when she has intercourse, um, her body feels differently. And so, of course, you know, I'm walking with God. I have been um, celibate and abstinent for a number of years now. So I am not engaging in any type of sexual acts in any type of way, but I do know since I've started walking this walk with the Lord, I often get these attacks by the enemy. And I did not even know that this was a thing um, until I um, watched the video of, um, of um, a woman named Jessica that I follow. I think um, her channel is at following Holy Spirit, if I'm not mistaken, but her name is Jessica. And so she did a video last week talking about how she had recently been raped. And as soon as I seen that video, it was confirmation of what had happened to me the morning that I woke up. So when I woke up, I automatically said to myself, I was just raped by a demonic spirit, but I'm like, am I tripping? Because is this a thing? Like I, I didn't know it was a thing, but that was the first thing that came to my mind that I had been raped by a demonic spirit. And now a lot of people talk about spirit spouses. Um, a lot of people that have had experiences with spirit spouses, usually, um, I've heard of a lot of people that may be married and they will deny their partner sexually. They don't have a desire to have sex, all this different stuff. If I'm not married, I don't understand why a spirit spouse would be coming after me. And maybe it's to, obviously to try to... Um, you know, defeat me and to, uh, to have me not to come into, um, the agreement with my kingdom marriage. Um, now a pr a prior to this experience of me now knowing that I've been raped and I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube or not, but prior to me having this experience, I, I was laying in bed. My eyes were open. I don't know if I was maybe, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know um, if I was um, thinking about something, reading something, but I had an open eye vision of a deceased ex climbing up on top of me as if he was trying to do something to me sexually. And the thing about it is, um, I've had dreams about this person where they're, you know, uh, trying to engage with me sexually. Um, you know, all these different things where they're basically claiming me. And even my mom told me like months ago, like, cause I told her, you know, I'm getting married. God told me that I'm getting married soon. And I haven't told that to a lot of people, but she said, you know what? I had a dream that you were getting married, but it looked like your deceased ex, the man looked like your deceased ex. 
it has just been so much going on, like on a spiritual level. I just, I don't, I often find myself and I don't want to discourage anybody when I say this, because all of this is new for me. Um, I feel like I've always had a relationship with God. I've always loved God, but I've never um, been at the level that I'm at uh, that I'm at now spiritually, um, where you know I'm able to give prophetic words. Um, you know, I'm a dreamer. I've dreamed more than I've ever dreamed in my life. Now I'm able to hear in the spirit. I'm able to talk in tongue. All these different things. Years ago, I was not able to do these things until I started more so coming into agreement with, uh, you know, the call that God has had, um, over my life. And so it's just, I, I often find myself asking God, like, God, where are you when these things are happening? Because I just don't understand, like, you know, I know warfare is going to come and maybe it was naive of me to think that, you know, once I started walking with God, like I'm good, I don't have to worry about the enemy. The enemy is coming after me like harder than he has ever came after me in my life. Um, and I know it's to, you know, discourage me and to try to pull me back into the kingdom of darkness. First of all, that's not going to happen. But I just, I always find myself, and I feel bad for this because I know God is always with me, but I just find myself asking God, like, why are you allowing the enemy to do this? Why are you allowing these things to happen? And I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because God wants us to fight harder. Maybe, you know, it's, it's obviously something good that's going to come out of this because as time goes on, all that's going on in the world, things are going to get worse before they get better. And that's just the reality of the situation. But me knowing that I had basically been spiritually raped basically by a, a sex demon or a spirit spouse, it just, I don't know, it just did something to me. And I just, I don't know, I just, I can't even explain how I felt that a spirit came and, and sexually uh, took advantage of me. Um, and like I said, after seeing um, the video by Jessica, it was confirmation that this is what happened to me. I didn't even know that this was a thing. And so regarding the deceased ex, um, I don't, I don't even understand that open eye vision because even though, you know, um, I still have dreams about him. Um, I just, I don't really understand it because I've denounced and renounce certain things in my life. Uh, this in real life, this man used to call me his wife. He wanted to marry me. And so that is even a lesson within itself. Don't allow people to call you <laughs> their, their wife, their husband. And, you know, don't, you know, you know, um, live in sin when it comes to these relationships, because, now I'm dealing with this situation on a, on a spiritual level with this spirit that is not even of this world. And like I said, I have went even as far as burned uh, in pictures and everything, anything that attached me to this person, like I did all of that. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to understand it. Um, because again, all of this stuff is new for me spiritually. I don't know if anyone else is dealing with this. And I know, like I said, part of it is the enemy. He's trying to attach me because I'm, I feel like I'm really close to my kingdom love story coming together where I'm going to be um, united with my kingdom spouse. And so the enemy is going harder, but it's just, there's a lot that's going on that I just, I'm asking God for understanding. Cause like I said, to be taken a sexually advantaged of by a spirit spouse or 
a, a, a sex demon. It's like, I just, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. And so um, that was a rough situation for me to have to wake up to. Um, it was just a rough situation because like I said, I didn't know it was a thing. So you guys, please, you know, keep um, me in your prayers. I've anointed my home. I've prayed and it's like, the enemy, he just don't want to let up. And I know part of this is there's a huge calling like on my life. And sometimes I even ask God that like, why did you choose me for this? But we can't question God. Uh, we can't feel that we can't accomplish what he wants us to accomplish because it's not going to be us accomplishing. It is going to be him within us, um, his power. Um, it's just a lot when it comes to this world. Um, like I always tell people, this life is more spiritual than it is physical. And the stuff that's been going on on a spiritual level, I mean, I just, <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. All I can do is stay in prayer at this point. Um, and keep believing what God said he's going to do. Um, but yeah, so you guys, um, I don't know if anyone else has ever dealt with this experience, this where you have been sexually attacked by a spirit spouse or a spirit demon. Um, I would like to know what has been your experience behind a situation like this, if you have experienced anything like this, um, like I said, the ex, I feel like, uh, the dreams have let up quite a bit. Cause for a while it was just driving me insane that this deceased spouse, and I don't even want to give that power and say a, a spirit spouse, this deceased ex, <clears throat> which was now a spirit was popping up in my dreams all the time. It's eased up a bit, but every once in a, in a while he reappears again. And it's like, what else am I supposed to do? I've burnt every picture. I've renounced and denounced things. And <laughs> this thing just keeps showing back up. So um, I don't know. Usually I'm on here giving you guys encouraging words or prophetic words. Um, this is a little bit different this time around, but one thing I say, I'm always going to be transparent with you guys about the things that I go through. Um, I'm, you know, a child of the kingdom. Um, you guys are, uh, followers of Christ as well. And so, these are things that we are going to be experiencing on some level and not everything is going to be perfect. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I'm looking to see, um, if someone has experienced something like this, um, uh, maybe you guys can help me out with this. All right. This is your girl, Jennifer Land, the crown jewel, and I will talk with you guys later.